Hey, it's Jeremy here. Today I want to be showing you how to use the Pathfinder tool in Illustrator CC. So what we're going to do, go to Window at the top, and then go to the bottom to Pathfinder. And you'll get this little box pop up, and you'll see that you've got different modes. So you've got Shape Mode, and then you've got the Pathfinders. Um, Pathfinder tool is really good. It allows you to you know, cut out shapes really easily and really quickly, um, whilst keeping it clean and you know have minimal anchor points. So um, I use it a lot when I'm working with you know designs and illustrations, which is really useful. So we're going to get right into it. So I've laid out the first section, which is just the shape modes. You can see we've got the four main ones, which is the main ones I use. I hardly use the other ones, to be honest. I mainly just use these ones because um, it's the most common. But I'll show you what they do. So we've got a knight as the first one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy a circle. I'm just going to ungroup this first. Copy the circle, hold Alt. I'm going to select both of these shapes, and then I'm going to press Unite. So what it does is it unites the two shapes and makes it one shape. And you can see at the top it says it's one path. So now it's just one shape, one path. And it's editable. This one is called minus front. So with minus front, I'm just going to copy circle. And I'm going to select them. What it's going to do, it's going to minus the space from the um, shape that's in front. So if I click it, you can see how it's cut it out from that circle that was in front. So this circle is in front of the other circle. So I do that. And it cuts it out from the other one. It's like a cookie cutter, people call it. Now we've got intersect. This one is pretty cool. What it's going to do, it's going to use, um, use the paths in the middle. So it's going to intersect from the two paths, and it's going to create a shape from that intersection. So if I click it, you can see how it's made that path. Let's make it more clear, so I might just drag it like this. And it's going to intersect the two shapes, and it's going to make a little shape from this middle bit. Just like that. So now you can make like a leaf, which is pretty cool. And then we've got the last one of the shape modes, which is the exclude. And it pretty much does the same thing as intersect, but it does the opposite of it. So instead of making the shape um, from the intersection, it's going to exclude that middle bit. And then you'll get the two outer shapes from that, which is pretty handy. So now we're going to jump into the pathfinders. Um, some of these are pretty similar, but some of these you can use as well differently. Um, we've got divide here. So we're going to go through these. Um, you can see divide, what it does is it combines all the paths and makes them into separate shapes. So now these are all separate shapes from the intersecting paths. So you can see these two circles are making an inner path and then divide it just makes it all into separate shapes. So it divides it into three or parts or whatever part, how many parts it is in. So we've got trim as well. What trim does, it trims the end bit off from the um, shape that's in front. So this shape was in front. We'll just do it again. So this is in front and then I'm going to use trim. And it's going to trim the outer shape and make it its own shape. And this is going to stay its own shape. We also got merge. This is the same as unite pretty much. Yeah, this is the same as unite. Makes it just one shape. And then we've got crop. So crop is a bit trippy. It um, crops off the excess shape on the back. Um, and it, But it also um, keeps the, the path of um, the other circle. Which you can edit. It's like weird. So... Yeah, it crops off the other shape and it makes um, the paths from the shape that was in front and it, and it keeps it, which is a bit weird. And then outline just turns these shapes into outlines just like that. So it just makes it a stroke. And then you got minus back. It's the same as minus front, but what it does, it's going to minus from the back shape. So this um, shape is in the back. So I'm going to select them both, click minus back. So it's going to minus from that back circle and then keep this circle piece that was in front. So yeah, that's how you use the Pathfinder tool, guys. It's really handy, and make sure you always have it on the side, like I do. And it looks like that. Um, it's really useful as well. And you've got some other options here that you can play around with, um, but you don't need, really need to worry about that. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching the tutorial, guys. Leave a comment below if this helped you out, and subscribe for more design content every week.